Hello and welcome to Wolfsburg Vans, where we take you behind the scenes and show you what it takes to build and sell some of the best custom vans in the UK. You'll get exclusive access to the many sides of our business, our fantastic team, the ups and downs and a whole load of sexy vans. Let's go! Okay, so welcome back to Wolfsburg Weekly. We have a very special video this week. You probably don't recognise me, but you do recognise my voice. I'm usually behind the camera, not in front of it. But this week we are bringing you the Merlin Purple Transporter. It's been a long time coming, but it's finally in the paint shop. We're ready for it. Hope you're ready for it. Let's get into it. Hang on a sec. Looks like we're gonna have to rewind. Craig is far too quick at his job and he actually did this strip earlier that week. So let's fly back and watch the full strip of the van. Right, so as, as Jody said, it's in the paint shop. It's been prepped now by two technicians, Matthew and Connor's on this one. Wizzle Wazzle somewhere floating around. Oh, he's over there. He's there peeking. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, he's got into high build prime at the moment. Started sanding and scotching it all. So realistically, the shell should be painted tomorrow. Um, and so I'll have a few videos attached to that. And a bit of feedback off Connor, how we found painting it. Because it's his first big one he's actually doing. Is it the first big one you do in colour change? Full shell job. Full shell one, isn't it? Yeah, full shell big yeah. one in it yeah so this is first one at Wolfsburg full shell job mm -hmm. in a bigger van mm -hmm. so uh, we'll see how he gets on yeah so, well this is Mike's favorite color isn't it so he's really excited for this Mike's one. favorite color but also in the VW community Merlin purple is like the color to have on Audi's Volkswagen's it's, it looks a bit like black breath but better so if you can have that on a transport or a caddy like we've done in the past before mm -hmm. at least now I've got a bespoke color on a, a nice van <laughs> Right guys, so the day has finally come. Connor's gonna be painting the Merlin Purple Transporter in the next 35 minutes, maybe 33 minutes, I've not decided yet. Might put my time, I don't know. But as you can see, we're doing it in two sittings of shell. Being such a big van, I've asked him to do the roof. The roof. Matt's does nearly <laughs> himself. Um, I've asked him to do the roof first, and I've also asked him to do this side first. So when we do a colour change at Wolfsburg, you've seen in a lot of videos, we do all the interior as well. Even though customers request a ply line or a carpet line, at least it's a full colour change that's been done. Reason why I'm asking him to do two separate sections, 
One, it's easy to do that separate, but also if you're painting a full repaint on a van and you're leaning over, what's going to happen? Potentially you might catch the van. So I always say on the bigger vans, I do it myself as well. Do the roof first and you might as well do the interior. So literally, in the next half an hour, we'll see some nice purple paint on this. So it's going to look... Finally. Finally. Are we ready for I it? can't wait to see it. Merlin purple is one of my favourite colour. What's the colour I want to do next? Amethyst. Yeah, amethyst purple. Amethyst, yeah. that purple Absolutely. Porsche. Dying to do it. Yeah. Absolute dying to do it. So please, guys, if you, if you see amethyst, Google it, inbox us. Try and persuade Mike to do it. Yeah. So yeah. Bang it in the comments. Bang it in the comments, yeah. So we'll see you next half an hour. Colours going on it. As you can see, Connor's now onto the second sitting of the shell. He's done all the insides, he's done the roof. Uh, he's now going to jack it up, take the wheels off, he's going to paint all the arches, full shell, inner wings, hinges, full shell's getting done now. After that, first batch of parts, second batch of parts, jobs are good and all done. Yeah. So I reckon probably, we've probably got another day left on this, a day and a half left on this job and it's done, fully done. Right. So it's Craig and Reef it then. Is it a lot harder to do a van this size then? Yeah, well you think about it, you do the short wheelbase caddies, quite small, so we can nail one of them in, I repaint in one of them probably in two days. This, three, three and a half, with two mm. technicians on it. Yeah. I mean, and that, that's a proper shell job, that's not like, you know, just the exterior, that's literally everything, backseat doors, hinges, bolts, washers, nuts, handles, petrol flaps, you name it, everything's been, even the inside, under the arches, everything, that's a proper colour change. And is uh, purple a hard colour to paint, would you say? Oh no, easy. No? Really easy, yeah. Compared to the orange some... white one, this is a piece of piss. So. Yeah, so why are some easier and some harder? What Darker colours are easier. Right. Um, I can put it, what's the best way to describe it? You don't really have to mess around, drop coating it to get it flat, not to light. When we've done a few videos, you, when it looks patchy sometimes, and you've got to give it a few different half coats to get it to lie flat. Is it just colour? The darker better? colours, don't really need to do that. It's one yeah. little drop coat and that's it. No, it is quite easy. You have to mess around just trying to get a flat finish. Darker the better. Darker, darker colours. The darker better. the better. Darker colours are a lot easier to paint. Right. Okay. So you'd rather paint black than white. Oh yeah, very easy. Yeah. Well, straight on, no problem. As you can see, Merlin Purple's finally out the paint shop. All been fully done. Inside, outside, all underneath the arches. Everything's all been done. It's a beautiful colour. It's a really it? nice colour. So it's always one of our favourite colours at Wolfsburg, this. One, it sells, and two, it just looks absolutely stunning. 
So I think this is the first time we've done it on a transporter. So we've done it on caddies, caddy maxes before, but first time on a transporter. Connors is in the parts up now, first batch of parts, so we'll see them filtering through the next day and tomorrow. By the end of the week, this van will be fully painted, done, and in refit next week. But as you can see, it looks absolutely stunning. Absolutely amazing, it does. So is it always, obviously the inside's been done as well, is that always something you do? Yeah, when we do shell jobs like this, custom colour jobs, we just, for the sake of what it's worth, we just throw a bit of colour in the back. Yeah. If it gets ply lined anyway, you know, you still see the odd bit of purple, or if you get it fully carpeted, you're not going to see it, but yeah. even still, at least we know then, it's pretty much all the silver off the van's been took off. Yeah. Proper colour change. Yeah. So. No, it's beautiful, so. Just parts next, and then it's... Parts next, build. bumpers next, gloss blacks, and then it's in refit next week then. So this will be pulling our live on our website within the next two weeks, I'd say so. Uh, as I say, that's got the retrimmed steering wheel, and I think we might be going for purple seat belt yet. So yeah. that'd be a nice one, won't it? Yeah, definitely. So again, all retrimmed interior, as well as retrimmed uh, steering wheel as well. So we've showed you us painting, us prepping, all that good stuff. But one of the things we've only slightly touched on is mixing the paint. Now, I'm not the technical one for this, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go speak to Danny and find out all about how we mix the paint. Yes, yeah, so like I said within the other videos, we can mix any colour we want in-house. We don't order in paint unless it's for a massive job, but most of the time we actually put behind you, we've got a full mixing scheme. So like today, you've I argument say, what colour should go for, meal in purple? Yeah. So literally pulled up on the screen as we see now. So let's show you again quick there. Type in the colour code and then it picks up the brand what it actually is. If I press that button there, it brings a full mix. So every tint that goes in Merlin Purple, as is, that's a very elite mix. So obviously there's how many tinters we got in that one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven tinters and a, and the water additive as well. So we can literally mix any colour. Um, that's out there for uh, Vauxhall, Subaru, Mercedes, Audi, anything really. Even a Robert Reliant probably more than likely. Yeah. So um, yeah, so literally mix everything in house. So all them there, what is that telling you here? So then, right, so each toner, each tinter is all on here. Yeah, so if we look at argument's sake, say, let's go for 965, which I know for a fact is a pearl. Let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. So that's a purple violet pearl. I don't know if your camera can pick it up. You can see how it's shimmering and flickering. Yeah. Yeah. That in that's got 115 grams in a litre, mm -hmm. so that's just one tinter. Again, the main tinter in that one for Merlin Purple will be 930. Again, purple mm -hmm. makes sense, that's much the main tinter, main binder for it. So, all these colours make up Merlin Purple, right? Okay, again, any other colour we can mix, same goes again. So, let's do another one quickly. Let's have a look. Let's go, let's do another popular LA7W, popular colour, isn't it? The Reflex best. Silver, the yeah. Best. Why is it the best, Yoda? Because I've got a reflex silver You've got a reflex silver, silver, <laughs> reflex silver, so let's go LA7W, so A7W, okay. You'd expect that just to be silver, but it never is, is it? No, it never, never is. Right, so as it's got a lot of, a lot of variance to this one. So let's have a look again. So as you can see here, that's a standard shade. And all these here are all different shades that the manufacturer have made. Rather, it can be red, right. red, light. Or every car is different. So yeah. these are all different variants here. He even got one from China. Right. Got loads. All different. All different variants. Field formula. That means field formula means that's been mixed by debate. So right. the paint manufacturer, one of their technicians, have made that formula for a certain car, and then right. they upload it onto their database. So that means okay. I can pull it up any time I want. So if I am struggling, the spectral camera can't pick it up. I can actually, you know, do a couple of spray out cards and check which yeah. shade. So if the standard shade looks too dark, I can mix a lighter shade up there. See, L right. means lighter. Yeah. Well, that one's a yellower shade, that one. So yeah, normally it's a pretty good match standard shade, to be fair. Oh, I use a lighter shade in a Reflex Silver. But and again, you, we can mix any colour we want. You mix in grams as well, don't you? Not millilitres like I expected. Grams, yeah, I think grams. Okay. I think you can actually change the millilitres, to be fair, but majority of the paint brands out there are grams. Yeah, and how do you do that then? Do you use it that do, it, scale? It does right? it all itself. So again, we'll yeah. show you now quickly. So we'll do another one. So let's go LA7W again, yeah? Mm -hmm. So A7W. Let's click the standard shade. Okay. Right, so it's letting me in a tiny bit of color. So it's telling me what, it also tells you what undercoat you need to put down as well. 
So I always, uh, always rely on, always leave the chart up here for the lads as well. So yeah. if you're not too sure, it tells you what colours, it tells you what primers to use, but it also tells you on here, so if you miss it on there, you can quickly check it on there. Yeah. Right. Again, loads of variants go mixing colours. People think, oh, I'll just throw some silver down and hope for the best. It doesn't work that way. So, if it's telling you here, so 743, is that 743? That's 743 grams yeah. of 989, which will be a silver. It will be a mild silver to first find it, wherever it is. There we go. So that's got pretty much 700 grams of that in it, and then the rest be made up of like different silvers, coarse silvers, finer silvers, toners to make reflex silver. So you grams put here. a mixing pot on here. Yeah. On so the I scale. literally go like that. We put it on. Yeah. I press OK. I've got to put my password and all that mm -hmm. sort of stuff on that, and then what that'll do then? I'll say we'll quickly do it now as a test to show you. So let's say we're going to mix a litre, okay? It's asking me for my operating number, for my initials, password. We reason why we do this as well, so whatever technician's working on it as well, it's low allocated to them. So me or Mike can literally just go, right, I tell you what, I can put a registration or a job number in, and then it can tell me what technicians mix the paint, how much they've mixed and how much it's cost and how much they've gone over on it. Right. So yeah, if you say, Danny, Danny, swear I didn't put the mix up, and they can look in here and go, it's like three, four yeah. grams over, you can see it, which never happens, but it's a good bit of kit to, you know, to do, to be honest. Right, so I put my password in. Yeah, don't say And then we'll put, I'll put a test, I mean, like a test card. So then what that does then, that stores that in the system. Mm -hmm. So now I'm gonna put a reg or a job number. Yeah. So then I can pull that mix up any time I want. So let's go for it now. Oh, wrong password, that's clever, isn't it? I did that too fast. There we go. Okay, and so. So now it's all ready to go and you can see the computer the scales now. And there we go. So it's telling me now it's ready to go, ready to load. I press clear. Tin, make sure my tin's on the actual scales. Yeah. As soon as I press tin, saying do you want to confirm that's the right weight? Yes, so if I do, because the pot that's on there. Press start. And now it's telling me now I need to put 743 grams of of that in, I'm not going to do it like, but yeah. yeah. So yeah. I put that in, then once you do that, you press OK. The next one, it automatically then recalculates to 215. I can then put 215 grams the next colour. Right. OK, when have I gone up? When have I put that in again? Again, 903, only 3.8. So literally, when you're doing your little ones, you've got to go literally just tap, tap, tap. Oh, Otherwise, right. it just goes yeah. out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So literally, when you're doing little ones, just go one, two, little drops like that. Again, De Beer is the same as Octrel, uh, they use these plungers. whole point of these, yeah, they are a bit tricky to use, but they literally get every last bit of drop out of that tin. Yeah. So you're getting the maximum out of that paint pot. Just and save that argument, say that's 60, 70 quid, 80 quid for that. You're literally getting the full amount out of it. Good idea to go, it takes a bit of getting used to. That would be really handy for toothpaste. Oh, I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you get to the end of it, you just yeah. like that, yeah, I know what you mean. Wow. But yeah, but literally, um, that's how we mix colours. Right, so I'm going to bring you the midweek walk around. Everyone else is too busy, so I might as well film this on the GoPro and take you around what's going on. So you may remember a couple of weeks ago we had this in, we had a full video of this on our YouTube channel, um, and this is now actually sold. So the customer requested some side glass. So that's been fitted, and this is going out tomorrow, I believe. But yeah, it's nearly there, just final few bits and it's good to go. Here we are. So obviously, as we've been filming this week, the transporter is in the workshop now, out of paint. Just waiting for a couple more bits and Craig will be ready for rebuild. So that will be the next bit that we're filming. This Mark 5 here is a massive build for one of our customers, Ken. He's specced this van out. So high heavens, he's had absolutely loads put on it. So, start with wheels, suspension. Could you give me a full list of what's on this van? Because I could not remember it. I can give you a list. Oh, there we go. I'll we'll have to be careful. If it's an invoice, we'll have to... It is an invoice, so you'll have to be careful. Right, well, I'll read off it. So, I, I do have a list here. So... Uniroyal Rain Sport tyres, seat conversion, rear seats in Alcantara and leather, carpet lining package including sound deadening, whole cabin doors, yeah this is literally sound deadening to everything, 
glass to the sliding doors, dummy glass to the rear quarters, um, which is that one. Then we've got a genuine VW front spoiler, genuine VW rear spoiler, genuine VW mud flaps, uh, bumper protector, tinted front and rear badge, remove the caddy badge from the rear, tints to the rear tail, uh, tints to the rear tailgate. Not really hard to say. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it from what I can what I can see here. But yeah, absolutely loaded. So as you can see. everything in there and yeah it's been sound deadened everywhere because he wanted it to sound exactly like a car so everywhere even behind the doors absolutely everything has been sound deadened so yeah that's another big one then i believe this is another mark 4 that's in build at the minute just a white one. Oh yeah i think this is the short wheelbase double slider yeah it is um, so these are quite rare, they were often seen in Europe but not so much in the UK so somebody has spec'd for it to be a twin slider Oh, messy in there Somebody has spec'd for it to be a twin slider um, and obviously paid for that at cost But yeah, rare, very nice, so we'll see that come through shortly That's another van that's leaving us tomorrow I think Matt is just working on this white transporter here Again, that'll just be going back to white. Chris is working on one here, which is very similar to Ken's build. Again, getting a lot of work put into it. We get quite a lot of customers that put a lot of spec on the brand new Mark 5s because they want the Mark 5, but they want it how they'd like it, which is great. Obviously you can modify these now and there's absolutely loads you can do on them. So that's great. Obviously this from last week's video, funny actually because we put this van up for sale and within 24 hours actually less than 24 hours somebody put a deposit on it so i didn't i haven't even managed to get the video out at this point and it's already sold which is i mean it's the beauty of wolfsburg isn't it most of the vans go before they are ready but yeah lovely to see it's really hard to pick up the color on camera but you can't really tell how pearly it really is but it's lovely and shimmery in the sunlight couple more vans here this one is the suzuka grey build let's get a couple of bits done to it but it's full in the back of there and then the last thing i think i need to go through to is pin so if i walk down here i'm going to pin hello what's in there side skirts Magnetic oh. Ray, Transit Custom, Mercier. All oh, right, okay. So Mercier is your customer who buys all the magnetic Ray. Transit. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Right. Okay. I've had a Red Bull. I feel a bit off my tits. Right. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm rattling that one off, and I've got a roof and a bonnet to paint. Right. Uh, well. What's that for? Some form of cabin. All oh, right. Okay. Uh, twin, slider. Oh, twin slider. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we that. just looked at that one in there. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the mid week walk around. Again, everyone's absolutely stacked out, but keep going and rebuild very shortly the purple one.
Okay, so as you've probably seen, we are midway through builds now. So Craig has another couple of bits to fit, including like the bumper splitter on the front. Here we are. <laughs> Well, I've said he were midway through build and now he's pretty much there. So, yeah, they're still obviously building the van at the minute. The bumper is on in about five seconds flat because Craig's too quick at his job. Um, let's have a look. We have rear bumper and then we also have a spoiler to go on uh, in the next couple of hours or so. So, next wheels suspension all the other good stuff that has to go on the van it will be fully serviced mot and everything and then over to polish wash and it's pretty much good to go so yeah we'll tune back in shop so this van behind me is the first of many that has got a very special edition so this van has now got specced the wolfsburg sport wing back seats these are the first and first of many we're really excited to show you these so let's jump in and show you the brand new Wolfsburg seats. I know, I said that when I got there. Have they exceeded your expectations then? Yeah. <laughs> the <laughs> They're really nice, them, aren't they? Yeah. I like the yellow stitching. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. nice, yes. Yeah. Oh, the yellow stitching in the armrest as well. Oh, yeah. Let's have a look at that. Right, Jodie, what do you think of the new wingback seats? Absolutely love them. I think they're the best ones yet. Do you like them? Love them. I think these are my very popular customers. Very, very popular. Yeah. Shame absolutely. we can't do them for the Caddy 4 just yet, though. So. Yeah, so it's Caddy 5 only then? Caddy 5 only for the minute, but we're not to say ruling out in the future they're going to be for a Caddy 4 either. Yeah, so why have you gone for yellow? Yellow, well, Wolfsburg colours, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we subscribe it, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. And what's some of the details? So are they leather and Alcantara? Yeah, so they are leather and Alcantara. Uh, they are the Wolfsburg Sportback Wing... wing uh, fucking in the <laughs> So these are leather and Alcantara wingback sport, sport seats, seats yeah. by Wolfsburg. Yeah. That's what they are. We got there Guaranteed in the end. Getting fucked right up. Oh God. Right, okay. And can you tell me um, if these are going to be in every van or are they going to be special order? No, so these wing back Wolfsburg seats are only on the Caddy 5 and the custom order as well so they are 2500 plus fat cost optional extra only available on the Caddy Mark 5. Right okay and how would you go about ordering them? Uh, just again just ring the office or DM us on Instagram or Facebook anything on socials place your order guys and let us know in the comments below if you like these seats. <laughs> so obviously as we can see now the van has been completely painted all done. Needs a few finishing touches on rebuild, like this light just needs to go in. A couple of other bits and bats. But that is pretty much it for pain. It's like that rebuild as I mentioned, but now it's on to wheels and suspension with Big Mike. So he's putting on these ST coilovers. These are the best coilovers. By KW, that company, so they are very good. But yeah, so we'll see if they like lowering that and then putting the wheels on today. I think they've opted for gloss black wheels, so we'll have a look at that once we get them out.
so as you can see behind me now big mike has got all the suspension on um, all the wheels and um, it used to be just in the suspension as it's a little bit high obviously you've got to put all the wheels on and make sure it's all level um, but yeah so just going to adjust that and then a couple of touch and go bits from craig tomorrow and then we're pretty much good to go Merlin is finally done. We've had a lot of setbacks, a lot of customer work come in, so this had to be pushed back a lot, but we're finally happy to say that it's done. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you around the full van, head over to Danny for some technical stuff, and then we'll tell you the price and all the details, and this van could be yours. So obviously starting off with the color we have mentioned all through the video that this is Merlin purple. This is an Audi exclusive color. It's the first time we've ever done this color on a transporter and obviously it's paid off, it looks absolutely stunning. We've done it a couple of times on caddies in the past, but this was a big one for us and we're really, really happy with it. Moving on to the front bumper, so we've opted for a sport line front bumper on this one, along with a gloss black splitter to match. Then we've also gone for black sidebars on the side to match that front splitter. Gloss black grills. You know we love gloss black grills around here. Moving on to the wheels. These are Leighton Vans LV3 wheels in gloss graphite. Now this is something different for us. We we don't often go for uh, these sorts of colours on vans. But actually I picked these wheels and I've got to say, they look unreal. Let us know what you think about them because I think that could be a new favourite for us really. I absolutely love the style, the colour, everything. Obviously they've got to look right on the right van. But yeah, let us know what you think about them ones. And then round to the back. This is a tailgate model, you guys know and love the tailgates. Perfect for if you've got bikes or camping, stuff like that. Just pick it up, off you go. And last but not least, the interior. Obviously, our signature Wolfsburg Lever and Alcantara retrim seats. A firm favourite, and favourite by all means, definitely. So now you've had a look around the van, what we'll do is we'll head over to Danny for some technical stuff, and then we'll get some prices, and away we go. Right, okay, Danny, so how have you found this build? This build in particular has been one of, one of my quite favourite ones. One, being a transporter. Two, we've got absolute Merlin purple. And I think overall, how it's turned out, the way it looks with the gloss black and the actual colour, your choice on wheels, I think it looks pretty pretty good to there. But yeah, it's turned out pretty nice, to be honest. Yeah, and was the paint easy enough, or did you find this to be a bit more of a difficult one? Uh, no, we see, um, Merlin purple is a quite straightforward colour. There's no... Um, it's not tricky to paint, you know, it's dead easy to lay down, you know, so yeah, it's quite an easy job to do. Yeah, um, so there's no issues with this one at all, nothing like that? No, that's actually, that's I mean, it looks perfect now, uh, obviously it's up, up for sale on our website as we speak, so yeah. So what's the what's the sale price details, can you tell me uh, about It's 24995 plus that, you know uh, is, I think the van's covered 60k, so again it's not, not hammered in mileage. If you know your transporter guys, you know your fact these are bulletproof. 
Right guys, that's all we've got time for this week. So thank you very much for watching the Merlin Purple build. If you do want to see more from us, make sure to give us a like. If you do want to see more videos again, make sure to subscribe and of course come back in the next couple of weeks because we have a Mark V Urban Green full custom build. So thank you very much. See you on the next one.